Hey guys, so today I'm briefly showing you the unique alternative methods of training combat that do not involve gaining hit points experience. Some of these methods are almost on par with regular combat training, and some are even faster than the most common ways of training accounts. The timestamps to this guide are in the description below, and for some methods there's a video guide I recommend that shows you how to do each method, but for a few methods I had to innovate them on my own, so I will cover those more in depth. For some of the methods you'll need a sizable cash stack, so if you're an Iron Man, refer to my low-level Iron Man money making guide, which will be in the description. I'm going to go into each skill one at a time. Let's start off with hit points. Generally, as a 10 HP account, don't train hit points, but if you ever see a skeleton that looks at you funny, feel free to blitz him right in the face and tell him that nobody will ever love him and that he's gonna die alone. Barbarian fishing is one of the best ways to train strength. It is slow, but is the most efficient way to train fishing, so it's worth your time in the long run if you're aiming for a high fishing level. You can do barbarian fishing in many locations, but I recommend fishing for leaping fish which are south of the barbarian outpost. You require some feathers for this method, and can get the barbarian fishing rod from Otto Godblessed, who is right next to the leaping fishing spots. From 48 to 99 fishing, you'll require roughly 200,000 feathers. If you're not aiming for 99 fishing, get at least 74, which will put you at 50 strength and will be beneficial for the best strength training method in the game. You will need 48 fishing and 15 strength to begin barbarian fishing. The 48 fishing is simple enough to achieve, but achieving 15 strength without hit points experience is slightly more difficult. If you're planning on training attack with your 10 HP Iron Man, or would like to go for the Ancient Spellbook eventually, you could do Waterfall Quest and you'll immediately be kicked up to 30 strength. And with 48 fishing as well, you're ready to catch Leaping Trout. If you're aiming to make an Obsidian Mauler, so with one attack, you will need to avoid doing the Waterfall Quest, as that gives you the experience for 30 attack as well. So an alternative method of getting that 15 strength is to loot sarcophagi in the Pyramid Plunder minigame. You can do this at as low as 21 thieving, but I recommend at least 51, so you can reach floor 4 of the minigame. For each floor, there's a different amount of strength experience that you were given from the sarcophagi. For floor 1, it's 20, for floor 2, it's 30, floor 3 gives 50, floor 4 gives 70, floor 5 gives 100, floor 6 gives 150, floor 7 gives 225, and floor 8 gives 275. Including the time it takes to begin the Itchlerin's little help request, it should only take you approximately 1.5 hours to get the 15 strength required to start barbarian fishing, perhaps only 30 minutes with 91 thieving, as that gives you access to the highest floor. No matter what floor you're on, you have a chance of waking up a mummy from the each sarcophagi that you open. However, its max hit is 9. If you don't have protection prayers, salmon and cake will be okay. I recommend just looting the three best sarcophagi you can loot, and then restarting the pyramid. Note that you will need the items to start Itchlerin's little helper before you can access Sophonim. After 15 strength, you should start barbarian fishing. From level 1 magic, I recommend teleporting to the games room with your minigame teleports and purchasing wizard mind bombs. With these, you can boost up to level 3 and start casting Confuse on NPCs. I recommend doing this with armor that reduces your magic accuracy, as confusing an opponent with successfully will not allow you to do it again for a few minutes. A good location to do this is at the Barbarian Village House. You can move up to Weaken at level 11, and then to Curse at level 19. When casting Curse, switch to an Earth Staff instead of a Water one. 55 Magic is a good place to stop, as this will allow you to start using high level alchemy. Once you have 40 ranged, you can use Green Dragon Hide Van Braces alongside your armor set, and this will allow you to splash on NPCs if you are ever inclined to do so. You can buy Green Dragon Hide Van Braces from Sedu's Adventurer's Store in Narda. Beyond 56 magic, it's recommended to charge orbs, make battle staffs with them, and then to high elk the battle staffs. 99 crafting with this method is a 400 hour goal on this type of account, but you'll have 87 magic by the end of it at the very minimum. The only viable way to train ranged long term is to use the cannon. See my cannon mechanics video in the description for details on cannon accuracy. I recommend training ranged while training slayer but you can also actively train it on Elder Chaos Druids. These offer a huge amount of herbs and have a chance of giving you the Elder Robes. It would be virtually impossible to train on these without Protect from Magic, so level 37 prayer is recommended. You can also use their Ensouled Heads to train up your prayer. This is a very efficient method to do so. If you'd like to train your prayer from level 1, using Giant Ensouled Heads is probably the most efficient way to do this, aside from using Dragon Bones on the Actophantus. The best way to kill Hill Giants is west of the Shazian camp in Karend where there are 12 hill giants. I highly recommend using the method on screen now, using two other accounts to block hill giants. 
You do need one of them to splash on that western hill giant, or you could splash on both of them. There's a bat that I could have used my northern account to splash on, and it would make it so that both of my splashers would only need to be interacted with every 20 minutes. It would also prevent my cannon from hitting that bat. After you've set up all the accounts and cannon, do not move to get the loots. You should telegraph everything if you're using the three person method. Once you step over an NPC or other character, they will no longer register as an obstacle and can be walked through. With my effective range accuracy, I was getting 60k range XP per hour and 17 insult heads per hour. You will only need to do this for 2.5 hours to get the insult heads for 37 prayer, or roughly 5 hours to get the insult heads for 43 prayer. You will use approximately 3000 cannonballs per hour doing this method. If you only have one account that is members, you can simply use the foliage northwest of this position to prevent damage from the hill giants. You will be fine just moving to get your loots in this situation, and it will be cheaper for your accounts too. However, I believe this will be roughly 25% slower. Back to training ranged. Generally, it should be passively trained while going for other goals. Herb lore ingredients from Elder Chaos Druids, Gang Intel from Shazian Gangs, the Dragon Warhammer from Shamans, Training Slayer, etc. But if you're ever going to go to the Ranging Guild minigame to train, I recommend doing that from level 40 to 70. For 1 to 40 attack, I recommend finishing all the quests that you are going to do before trying to train it. Most quests that give attack XP require a cannon. One tip I have for doing the fight arena is placing the cannon outside, which will allow you to kill the monsters. On screen now is an image that a friend sent me that shows the cannon placement. I used the recoil method and it took a very long time. If you're training defense, follow the same idea. Do the defense giving quests. There's a link in the description that shows what experience rewards you get from quests. It's very helpful. For high level attack, strength, and defense, I recommend killing Shazian gangs for your experience and these skills. It's very fast, offers lots of resources, and can be fun. The biggest downside to this is that it does get crowded a lot, and so it can be quite unreliable. However, it's still the fastest way to train these stats, and I made a full guide on the method, which is the first link in the description. Another viable method of training strength is carrying kegs on your head in the Warrior's Guild. However, this is 40% slower experience than the gang method, gives no resources, requires energy potions, and requires 130 combined attack and strength. If you are going to do this method, your likelihood of dropping the keg is a lot lower the higher your energy is, so keep that energy up if you can. At the bottom of the description are YouTube links of other 10HP accounts in case you're interested in their channels. I hope you guys learned something and enjoyed the video and that you hit the like button if you did. If there are any updates, I will place them in the description. Feel free to comment any of your training methods or thoughts on this video as well. Catch you guys next time, and peace.